what I see is, I mean, and this is an ongoing trend, is that the local environment is always, always very, um, it's always very represented. I mean, a lot of Italian companies here and, and, and Italian delegates, so, so I think that's good. It also proves that uh, the concept of the ERF moving around from one city to another is, is the right way to do it because it, it gives a, a new flavor. And my notion is that the ERF is, uh, the flavor of the ERF is, is sort of transmitted to the local ecosystem. So, so when the ERF, ERF has been here, you will see that, that the ecosystem here is, is changing and, and we see the same thing in order so that, you know, that the ecosystem is developing you know, as, as, uh, as this international conference comes to town, so to speak. We see uh, a lot of trends, uh, in particular in production. So uh, what was once uh, said to be already done and, and solved and so on, we, we see actually that many companies also in the US, also in Asia, are moving in the direction of making contributions to manufacturing. Um, so uh, this is where we see suddenly more robots doing uh, operations such as robotic welding or painting or working on uh, large structures, working in uh, field environments such as construction sites and uh, shipyards. So I would like just to highlight a couple of points. Uh, so one of them would be like the market data trends. We have had just a workshop that has finished on market data, also made by uh, Vanek House, uh, which has been uh, really nice, just uh, very concise and very uh, precise to know which are the latest market data trends. And then also uh, an AI Act related workshop, which has been really nice because as you know, uh, this week has been the voting in the European Parliament. So we are just following the hottest topics at the moment and the ERF as you can see. We see some first examples of where people are using uh, AI in order to develop algorithms from learning. Uh, in order to have, uh, for example, bipedal motion being controlled based on uh, algorithms coming or developed by AI. We see that this is going to help a bit with uh, commanding robots, for example, to have uh, a natural speech uh, being understood by AI, interpreted in terms of robotic commands. But I think if it comes to precision and accuracy and, and highly uh, known operations also, then uh, it will still take longer time until AI makes a contribution in those fields of, those classic fields of robotics as well. For next year, we have uh, ERF 2025 already planned. It will be in Stuttgart in Germany and uh, it will be hosted uh, again by Werner Kraus and uh, we are already working on that because ERF uh, is <laughs> never ending so uh, we are already working on that and we expect to have a great success also uh, for the next year and uh, hope to have the same number of participants and the same level of engagement.